Hey, welcome back to your own University TV. My name is Lisha Antica, and today we are moving on in our series of leadership and how to lead your own life. And we're talking about creativity and innovation. I want to talk about something that stops many of my entrepreneur and creative friends and help you get over that hurdle so you can bring into the world what you are here to bring. <laughs> think about creativity and innovation they don't necessarily think about leadership but every leader and everybody that is leading their own life has this way of thinking outside of the box of allowing themselves to create things that haven't been created before but there are a few big blockers that stop these things from getting out into the world that have been re-brought up to my intention in order for me to put together this segment and so we're going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about that so you can bring into the world what you're meant to bring into the world. We're also going to talk about ways to get your creative juices going so you can tap into that creativity. And this is going to not only ignite your ability to manifest in your life and your joy and your fulfillment and your overall like immune system literally calming down and having more peace, but you're also going to... Um, feel better, feel better in all areas of your life. So it doesn't matter what you're doing, whether you're an entrepreneur or you have a regular day job, if you are wanting to lead your own life and not be consumed or held down by the rest of the world. So what does this mean? This means that you get to think outside of the box. You get to come up with your own ideas, not only opinions, right? Being opinionated about things is one thing. This is like, how can I creatively solve this problem? How can I creatively step into the next evolution of humanity? How can I creatively um, think outside of the box and make something my own? And this can be everything from, you know, like creating a song and or performing something your own way or um, totally and completely reinventing some way that people do things to writing your own book or your own programs like we teach at your own university or how you can really just manifest new ways for you to do things that work to make things more efficient. So creativity often is thought of as the arts, right? But it's not just the arts. It's not just um, artistic things. Creativity really is everywhere, everywhere in life. Where you find creativity is everywhere in life. It means bringing something new to create from your own self, to create your own desires, your own interests, your own passion. So the first thing to do when it comes to tapping into your own creativity is to ask yourself what interests you. It really goes along with our last segment in leadership is where, where are you talented? What comes naturally and easily to you? One thing that happens so often is my clients come to me and they're like, I really want to do this. I have this really great idea, but I don't want anybody else to steal the idea. So here's tip one. You know what? It's your idea. It's your idea. In today's day and age, yes, there's always going to be some competition, but if somebody else was going to invent it, they would, and they won't do it your way. Even if they invented the exact same thing as you, there is a hundred different ways to do things, right? And you get to choose one of those ways for you. So say that you make jewelry or you are writing a book or you're creating a program or you have invented something or you have some business idea and you don't want anybody else to take that idea. There is a period of incubation when it comes to manifestation where your ideas are yours. You're getting all your ducks in a row. Maybe you're building the prototype. 
Maybe you're writing and studying and researching your program. Maybe you're writing your book, right? You don't want anybody to read it before you actually publish it and launch it. And, or maybe you are putting together a show and you don't want anybody to see it before that. That's that period of incubation. But after that period of incubation, it is mandatory that you go out into the world and you share with the world, you share with other people what it is that you're bringing to the world. What are you creating in the world? And share your creativity, where it, whether it's your own personal jewelry design or your book, right, that you're launching, or your program that you're launching, or this beautiful business idea that you're launching, whatever that is, once your ducks are in a row, then it's time to bring that into the world. So if you are hiccuping about, I don't want anybody to know what it is, I don't want anybody to know what I do, I'm scared of the judgment, I'm scared of this, I'm scared of that, this is a block in your leadership that you can overcome. So one thing that I really suggest is blackout journaling, I talk about it a lot here, and working through those emotions, tapping or emotional freedom technique is another way to work through those emotions. I'm joining a program that is going to lift you up and keep your juices flowing like your own university, our membership program, where we send you different tips and tools to tap into your innate wisdom each and every day is going to be really mandatory for you to keep that going and keep going over that hurdle so you can put yourself out into the world and don't get bogged down once your creativity gets past that incubation point and it's time to really birth your ideas into the world. This is where innovation comes into the piece because we need you as a leader of your own life to do things your way. When you do, th do things your own way, when you invent something, when you allow yourself to think about how you can creatively solve a problem in the world, then the whole world gets blessed. Whether there are people you know, creating new ways to reach water, right? In Kenya, that's a pretty amazing story. You can look at that story on the internet. It's been around the kid that really created a windmill and created the whole thing to innovate and create a system that his country could literally get water in a more sufficient way than having to walk down to the stream. This is his country, his region's level of awareness and he innovated this idea found his way through and then launched it into the world and has created quite the name for himself other places for innovation can be just ways that you run your household right it doesn't have to be this big big idea but when you figure out like how it's going to shift and change the dynamics of your life you are going to be able to share your ideas with the world, with your community. This is very important in things like politics, right? We need to think of new ways to do things that are going to be more effective. And you're the one that is going to think about those things. You're the one that gets to bring those things to life. And so when you invent something, when you think outside of the box, when you look into yourself and say, well, this was a good idea and that was a good idea and blah, 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 blah. But I really, really, really think that this is how it should be done. And then you create whatever you need to create to have that thing happen. And then you bring it out into the world. That's innovation. And whether you're doing it in your workplace or you are creating your own material and work and your own stuff in the world, when you allow yourself to step into that place of doing things completely different and innovating from a place that is all of your own. You tap into your innate source, that source we've been talking about when it comes to this leadership program, your soul source, that part of you that is connected to all that is, that allows you to say, oh, boom, it's like a spark of, of energy that comes in that we talked about when we talked about inspiration, right? It's that spark of energy. Well, after inspiration is innovation. And so you take what you have inside of you and you invent it. You bring it into the world. You create it. You give birth to it. And that is what makes our world a better place. That what makes us all evolve and evolve and evolve. And that's my invitation for you today. So let me know what you are creating 
creating in your life. Let me know what you've stopped creating because you were scared that somebody was going to steal your idea, right? And that standing in your authority as a leader, as an innovator, and how you're going to take that next step today for your own project. So my name is Lisha Antica. Thank you for joining Your Own University. Check us out at yourownuniversity.com. We have a lot of great things over there for you. And give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and thank you for being a part of our page. We love your subscription and you mean the world to me. Talk to you soon. Bye. Join us at Your Own University. Like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. You're not going to want to miss a bit of this.